come for you. Bill Williamson, come out here right now. Go away now, John. <laughs> Don't make me kill you. Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh. Do I look like I need saving? Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> you implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge! No more Dutch! And no more you. <laughs> implores. I, I implores you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Poor John. Well, you're alive. So it would seem. So, how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? I was... Oh! I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. I'm sorry, madam. Should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr. Er, Mr. Uh, Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarlane. Miss Bonnie McFarlane. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarlane. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? Trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance, for old times' sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him, long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. Thank you, Miss. <laughs> you see my hat? I have. And uh, what will you do now? Now I'm gonna. Take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life, I mean. 
Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind. Figured it's about time I started paying back that $15. I sure can use an extra pair of hands around here. Let's see if we can get you back in the saddle. office. It's also where we lock up good-for-nothing outlaws, such as yourself. I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. I picked out a fine horse for you. Gee up! Come on, time for you to see what a real ranch looks like. General store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. Very convenient. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. A fella carrying a Carcano sniper rifle was walking about town, they say. Oh, I see. And here's the corral. This one's for the horses. What do you think? I'm no expert, but it certainly looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've stolen more horses than you've broken. Now, where'd you get such an idea? First impressions are hard to erase. That's the train station. Things sure have changed since the line finally got finished, bringing in all sorts of new folk like yourself. Is that such a bad thing? Change is only good when it makes things better. before we head out on patrol. You'll get no complaints from me, Miss McFarland. 